<laughs> Goodness. Yeah. What in the world? Good grief, Nancy's. What is your deal? Hey, I got a feeling it's you. It's always you. Never you. You wouldn't do it. Nope. Check that out. I'll show you more here in a minute. Morning, everybody. Chad, Adler Farms. It's me again. Han, what's up, buddy? Hey, you get mad at your dish and you just flip it? Is that the strat now? Magneto. Gray. Sassy. Ladies. Buddy, Chad, and their farms. Whew. That bacon really slaps. <laughs> Case told me not to say that, but I had to. Today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox. We've partnered up with them to bring you an amazing deal. It's partnerships like the one we have at ButcherBox that allow me to do what I do daily and bring you guys awesome content, and we sincerely appreciate it. But on top of that awesome content, you'll want to stick around because ButcherBox actually has an amazing deal that involves free grass fed ground beef for life. Yeah, you heard it. He's a good dog. Show him how you sit. Yeah, girl. Ready? Back to the show, because this guy's hilarious. I don't know who this is, but you guys should subscribe. What you think? Huh? Looking good? Miss Lola? Miss Lola? Here we go. Hey, look out. Look out. Where'd he go? Look at that. It's huge. Yeah. Ninja. What's up, buddy? What's up? Man, you're getting big. You're getting bigger. Looking swole, brother. Looking swole. Don't like the ears played with or just the tag? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, and I can't even keep him ears in frame, man. From your nose to your snout, I can't keep you in frame. I need a wider lens. Yep. Sure do. Sure enough. A little bit of a later start this morning, but ain't never hurt anybody. Everybody looks healthy and accounted for. Smoking about ready for her morning nap. Hey, you as tired of them goats as I am? I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them. If they weren't your friends, they'd be gone. So check this out. Old grandpa, old grandpa set that up for us. Pretty slick. So you guys knocked the hose down though. Now we can get in here easier and make sure you actually get food without knocking each other out. Batman, where are you going, buddy? Come on. Come on, you gotta come in here to eat. Y'all are so weird. I think grandpa's got enough screws in there for some goats. Built him a sweet little platform. What do you think, hmm? I'm trying to get eggs. I'm trying to get eggs, I'm sorry. Just one over there. Tell you what, we'll leave that one for Grandpa. He'll be out here this afternoon. Can I pet you? I ain't gonna touch you because you whiz on your face. What do you think, man? What do you think? Okay, never mind. Well, this is pretty slick. 
No more moving that red gate around. Well, it's awfully quiet out here this morning. Awfully quiet. The real question is, it's been 24 hours since I turned loose his buddies at my brother and sister-in-law's place. I wonder how quiet it is out there this morning. Who survived the night and who didn't? They were either gonna get eaten on this farm or they can go there and risk it and figure out if they're tough enough to hang out in the woods. There's a ton of structure. Their, their land, their property, if you guys don't know, my brother and sister-in-law started a channel. I'll link it down below. Appreciate you. And I sincerely appreciate everybody doing what I ask and going and subbing to them. They're overwhelmed with all the attention. Their gratitude to you guys is just awesome. Now they're trying to figure out what in the world they're gonna film. I'm like, guys, just go film. It's raw land. Nobody expects you to have a house up tomorrow. Nobody expects you to knock that old house down or put the new barn up. Nobody expects that. They just wanna watch you guys do it and they wanna laugh and work with you. And that's, you guys are awesome, I told them. I told them, I said, I bet you 4,000 people in 24 hours. And we're like 400 shy and it's only been 12 hours. So that's pretty crazy. But anyway, yesterday I turned four roosters loose at their property to eat ticks. And yes, these t these chickens, these roosters, they were raised in a, you know, pen. Everybody's basic instinct is run, hide, fight. Okay, that's human nature, that's bird nature, that's bovine nature. Nobody wants to be attacked. Okay, so if one of them roosters was sleeping on the ground in the middle of the driveway and he ain't there this morning, his three buddies are going, well, he was wrong. I know what you're thinking. You don't need chicken food. No. Look out, chickens. Look at, they're so spoiled. They don't even want that feed. They want scratch. What's up, buddy? You got a ton of food in here too, still. So now we got this Lone Ranger guy. So I think we'll call him Lone Ranger. What do you think about that? No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Cause I got a buddy down at Walker Farm Fan named Ranger. And we might eat that guy, but I wouldn't eat my buddy down at Walker Farm Fam. So we don't want to do that. So new plan. What do we name that guy? When I was rounding up those roosters, the reason he didn't get caught is because he's got an attitude. We could call him AT, attitude, ATT. I'm just calling him Toot. That's what happens when grandpa feeds your pig scratch, corn, stuff like that. Then he expects it. And when you don't get it, he's a big whiny baby. Woo, these are warm, ladies. Look at that. Pretty slick. Don't get too hung up on a name because he's the one we're going to uh, figure out if he's got black meat, black bones, black organs. He's got that AM Samani trait in him. Hey, don't, those are my eggs. Those are my eggs. Nope. Red, you're molting, my dear. There's feathers everywhere. Oh, man. Uh, and I briefly showed this off. I briefly showed this off. Anybody hiding in there? Hello, Mickey. Nope. Mickey can't swim. So that's why there's water in it. That is a mouse trap from Ryan. And they are a, I think it's two brothers and their dad. That is my, that's, that's their business, but that's my dad's first channel sponsor. So that thing's been on his channel a couple of times, but I think it's so stinking cool that it's gonna make it on my channel. But there's a link in the description if you want one. And it helps my dad. It don't help me, it's me helping my dad. Because if you guys haven't noticed, I don't have to I don't have to work very hard. <laughs> Go down there and buy a mouse trap. They're pretty stinking slick. It's not like traditional mouse trap where like if you get one, you then have to deal with a dead mouse. Like they'll be in a bucket. You can just take them and you can do what dad does, take them to the field and say, you're free. And then catch them a week later. Or if you put a little water in there, yeah, they don't have snorkels. Mogey, what are you thinking? You got that look in your eye. You got that look in your eye. Oh my goodness. Oh, big puppy, come here. Oh, goodness, goodness. What do you think, lady? What do you think? What do you think, what do you think huh? Got your headlock. Ready? One, she's wagging her tail. She knows what's gonna happen. Two, 
It's coming. She can't turn on me. She's nipped me before, so I'm trying to be real careful with my ear and my face, but. <laughs> it's a good dog. It's a good dog. Yeah, it's a good dog. Isn't it nice and quiet without all them roosters out here? I think it is. Things are noisy. Here, you want an egg? Let's get you an egg. Come here. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. All right. So, what's on the agenda for this afternoon? Band camp. It's happening. By the time everybody sees this video, you're going to be a little bit lighter. Yep. Get a good look because they're going bye bye. Poor Lucius. Man, shouldn't be too hard to find them. Now we got to go feed shrimp boat, Wilma, and the beefy boys. And remind me, I got to get that. Yeah, I'm going to take that dewormer away from them, the beefy boys. So we'll do that. And then shrimp is not, he don't care about his mineral block. It's kind of interesting. Or it's a, it's a deworming block that looks like a mineral block. So it's saying, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? But he don't care about it. So. We may run to the big box store and get a regular old mineral block. So at least he's getting something. The beefy boys had a mineral block, like a, like a straight mineral block underneath their dewormer, but I think it's gone. So just to catch you up to speed, by the time you guys see this, grandma and grandpa now have a channel and my brother and sister-in-law have a channel. I've got a shorts channel, like a place where I just post random videos all the time. You should go follow it too because you'll miss out on stuff. That's where I go live. So if you like lives, you gotta go to that channel. All this is linked down below. But now, I've still got one little brother to get on YouTube. And if I get him a channel, then I'll have my whole family on YouTube. That'd be pretty slick. What's up, homie? How you doing? Looking beautiful. There she is. Miss America. I think they're still in Miss America pageant. I don't know. Shrimp, I'm going to feed Wilma first. <laughs> oh, she, she just, she just get hungry. I'm going to. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. Pig, 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 pig. Let's go. Woo, baby. There's some lean and long bacon in there. Ready? Let's go this way. Fresh or grass. You're as bad as the beefy boys, you know it. Can't get jump. Whew. Come on, buddy. Like Adler would say, eat up, get big, make steaks. Hey, I'm actually gonna go pick up some tags. What number do you wanna be? You wanna be like number four, six? It's gotta be an even number. I can't handle odd. I know, I got two pigs with odd numbers in their ears, but I didn't have a choice. You like four, six? Five, oh, what'd you be five, oh? We like the police around here. Let's call you five, oh. Huh? He's all right. That a boy. That a boy. Yeah. Somebody said, don't pet you, because one of these days you'll like throw your head around and pop me or something. <laughs> you can't be any worse than them goobers over there. No way, brother. Your horns are looking good. I think they're going to be a little bit lighter than the beefy boys. That'd be pretty. Yeah, Ooh, look at that. Cool, man. Cool, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. Looking good, buddy. A little walking never hurt anybody, right? I did have me some breakfast pizza this morning. I tell you what, man, it turns cold. And coffee and breakfast pizza is just where it's at. There's just nothing like it. They got no room to talk. No room. Y'all have cake every morning. How's that? Huh? Cake and hay. Man, you guys are huge. Ready? There you go. Looking good.
So it's incredible how tall he is. And he's six weeks younger than his older brother. Obviously, if he's six weeks younger, he's older, but you know what I mean? Pretty cool, but you can really, really see the rear end. This is, I'm learning more, you guys know. We started this out, I didn't know what a beef was, a Holstein, an Angus, I didn't know anything about it. But you can really see the Holstein in his hind quarters. How thick his legs are. Whereas his aren't near as thick. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but I don't get any closer these days. Pretty cool. Yep, I thought so. I thought so. You touched the fence. <laughs> you did. You shook that wire. The big babies though. I really don't think they have any idea how strong they are. Like he just lets me bully him around. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Y'all are awesome. Look at that. Man. You guys are so just powerful animals. Gorgeous too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Absolutely gorgeous. But that high rear end is that Holstein trait. The fact that they're shorter, like they're not, they're, when I say they're huge, I'm talking about overall compared to when I got them. It's gonna be a lot of rain in the next couple days too. So we'll get more grass back out here. I'm really trying to keep them at least, there's like four acres right here. Well, I mean, it goes way out there, but you know what I mean? I'm really, really, really trying to keep them on this four acres. That is kind of silly. Tell me in the comments down below. I probably should just go ahead and let them have a little more because it's going to die before spring anyway. And shrimp ain't going to eat that much. So maybe I should just go ahead and expand it. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? You kind of become a buddy. Yeah, sure have. Sure have. What you think? What you think, huh? What you think? He's a happy cow. Happy bovine. Should probably call you a steer so people don't lose their marbles in the comment section. That's a steer. I know. I know. What do you think? That's your brother's spit. Yep. Sorry about it. I didn't mean to do that to you, but you know how it goes. Here, I'll put it in your hair. Make it look good. Buh, buh, buh. Eat up, get big, make steaks. On for rain this morning, but that didn't happen. It's really humid, so something's gonna happen. Now I have to do what I have to do lately more and more. I don't know why. I used to have tons of time to spend out here. I gotta go run some errands. I'll check back with you guys later. Stay tuned though. I got more things to show you guys. Cool stuff, but I gotta go run some errands. See you in a minute. Dad, are you done? We're hungry. Am I done? Done when I'm saying I'm done. That's when I'm done. I'll tell you. I'm done. Mmm. That's really good. Look at that. Now one of those is mine. Don't touch the other one. One of them's mine. This one's mine. Mm. That is good. One out of ten. It's a ten. I mean, it it just grills different. It tastes different. You know, normally, what do we do at restaurants? We ask for, you call it spicy. We call it A1. Yeah. Normally, you have to use that. This, I just put a little bit of that secret seasoning on it. But, man, that's good. That's good. If you're looking for medium rare, it's hard to beat 135 degrees. 
This video is brought to you by our new channel sponsor and I am so happy and so proud to work with them for multiple reasons, I'll tell you why. Not everybody has the ability to raise their own beef, okay? Chicken, fish, whatever. Not everybody has the time. Some of you all don't even live in an area where that's possible. Butcher Box brings that to your doorstep. Once a month, you can add things, subtract things, all you want, all kinds of stuff. They're awesome, they're awesome folks to work with. All of ButcherBox's products, none of the animals are raised with antibiotics or added hormones. It's actually federally regulated, okay? You can't add hormones. Their beef, 100% grass-fed, pasture-raised. Their chicken is free-range and USDA-certified organic. Pork, raised crate-free. Bacon is actually sourced from heritage-breed pigs that is nitrate-free, sugar-free, and uncured. Seafood is all wild-caught. If you've been on the fence about this, here's my thing with ButcherBox, okay? I know. I have two steers. I have two beefy boys. I know. I'm going to finish them out. I, they're going to be awesome. They're going to be great. So why in the world would you do this? Well, because not everybody has that opportunity. And I really appreciate it. Some of you all have actually messaged me and asked if I'm going to be selling any of the beef from the beefy boys. A lot that goes into being able to do that. I can't do it. Now through October 14th, you get two pounds of their grass-fed beef, which is absolutely mouthwatering. Okay? You get that for life of your membership if you sign up between now and October 14th, if you click the link down below. What's funny is I've actually been working with ButcherBox for a little while, but if you know me at all on my channel, I never just sign up with somebody or receive a product and post a video. I've never done that. I'll still never do it. See what looks like a bunch of... Uh, junk on top of the refrigerator. Half of those are products that I've received that I'm supposed to be doing a review on, and I am. Some of them just flat don't work. So y'all will never see them. I'm not gonna show you something I don't use and I don't believe in. We've eaten their beef. We've eaten the chicken breasts. We had a pound of their bacon. We've had ribeye. We had the tenderloins. That's what else. We had some KC strips. Like the box is almost gone. I'm all, I've literally had the box since the 1st of September and I've almost eaten all of it. I'm a big boy. I like to eat. Speaking of beefy boys. Some of you have actually already found the link in the description on our last couple videos and you've already placed orders. So I sincerely appreciate y'all. That's good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he won't let me. What's in my beard? Mine. That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Helps out. Y'all be good. Link down below. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. God bless. Peace. Deuces. See y'all. Peace. Peace.